I will get pain in my face now, headaches, uh, profuse sweating. Literally, my vision of my left eye is a little blurry from pressure, from sinus pressure and some manifestation of the virus. I've talked to several clinicians and experts in this. They've all said it's a very common thing. Um, and then you can't sleep because you have a fever. And you have these wicked phantasmagorical experiences that are not dreams. Our own Chris Cuomo on CNN Coronavirus Town Hall, along with Anderson Cooper there, Sanjay Gupta. He was talking about his symptoms as he continues to fight coronavirus. Dr. Jen Caldo is back with me to answer some of your questions. And Dr. Jen, we're really playing this out in real time. Do yes. we know the symptoms? Is it fever, as Chris was talking about, and sinus pain? And I've heard shortness of breath from others. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, you know, I'll say um, on the CDC website and, and in the beginning of this, we were saying sort of a classic triad of symptoms, fever, shortness of breath, cough. But what I will say is as we've gone on through this sort of pandemic, we've started to pick up on other symptoms that people have reported. Uh, uh, vomiting, diarrhea, mm -hmm. also reports of loss or excuse me, loss of taste or smell, um, uh, muscle aches, severe fatigue um, and, and other symptoms, too. Let me be very clear. And I should also say, Susan, not not everyone with coronavirus actually necessarily gets a fever or necessarily gets a cough. So right. one thing as a physician I'm noticing is that as this is unfolding, we are, as you mentioned, learning in real time about what the options are in terms of symptoms, and they do range. And this question, want to get to viewers' questions. There's a lot of them, as you know, Dr. Jen. Yeah. This comes from Jamie in Idaho. He says, will this virus end up hanging around and acting like the flu that comes around every year? So maybe in the future there'll be a shot like the flu shot for this. Right, right. That's a really great question. And first of, and foremost, I want to say that because this is evolving, there is just so much we don't know mm -hmm. and we hope to know in the future. However, um, the experts, including Dr. Fauci, have suggested that we may see a cycling of this virus. So it is possible that it may come back around um, as cycling or seasonal. Um, but, but the truth is right now, we just don't know. We have to wait and see. And as you know, with the flu, if you do get it once, you can get it again. This is from Loretta from Facebook, and I'm not comparing the two. They're very different. But she says, Understood. is there any information on the possibility of a relapse of COVID-19, meaning if she contracted it and recovered, can she get it again? That's a, also a really great question, one that everyone is, is wondering about. So right now, we think that if you get COVID-19, you are likely going to be immune to some degree after you recover. Now, to some degree, that, that phrase really matters because we don't know to how much how much you'll be immune and for mm -hmm. how long, right? So there are still questions in, in that aspect. There have been some reports, you know, if you go online, there have been reports of people who have supposedly gotten reinfected after they've recovered from the illness. Um, what I would say as a physician is we still have more to learn about those specific cases if it truly is a reinfection. Remember, there are a lot of variables that go into whether we would consider someone reinfected and timing of samplings and timing of testing and all that stuff. Proper sampling really um, uh, makes a difference in terms of how we interpret certain results. So I want to be cautious with that. What I would say here uh, is that there's still a lot we need to know as well. We mm -hmm. have to sort of wait and see as the data evolves what we continue to learn about this. Yeah, we're kind of the study in a way living through this. And Dr. Fauci, right. as you have said too, Dr. Jen, that staying in because it is highly contagious is best protect to protect you and other people. Dr. Jen Caudill, thank you. Thank you.